Hi, my name is Phil, and this is my story. I grew up in Northeast Philadelphia in the Longcrest area. I was one of four boys. My family was very religious with my parents being worship leaders here at Bethel for many decades. I was pretty much here every day, uh, but I loved it. And this became a home away from home. Overall, life was pretty great growing up, but uh, that quickly changed. At nine years old, I remember walking home from school as I was reaching for the handle, my dad met me at the door. As he opened the door, you could, you could hear my mom just weeping. And um, they brought us into the kitchen, me and my brothers, and explained to us that mommy had breast cancer. Because I was so young, I didn't really know what that meant, but I could understand from everyone's expressions that it was not a good thing. And, um, I remember at nine years old just raising my hand and having to look my grown father in the eye and asking him, is mommy going to die? On October 15, 2012, my mom was in really bad shape and um, I woke up and my mom was brain dead and uh, she... <laughs> She no longer knew who I was, which really hurt because you never want someone that you love to forget who you were. And as a family, we decided to put her into hospice. And that night I had a soccer game and I remember it like it was yesterday. I, uh, I went up, I gave her a kiss, a big hug, told her how much I loved her and, um, said goodbye and went and played my game and uh, I never saw her conscious again. She passed the next day. Growing up with cancer was pretty brutal. The things you had to see, the things you had to hear. I'll never forget my mom pulling her beautiful red hair out in front of me from the chemo, stuff like that. It's just, it's very tough to see. But as tough as it was to live with cancer, I found out it was even tougher to live without. I call cancer the great masker because your subconscious is always focused on the illness. And when it's taken away from you, you realize all this anxiety, all this depression that you didn't know you had, and it just gets dumped on you. I started becoming suicidal. And while I was testing the water and going down that avenue, the only thing that would stop me from killing myself was because I didn't think I would make it to heaven. I didn't think I'd make it to heaven because me and God never really had a great relationship. I always saw God as the God of pain. I always saw God as the God of death and it really hindered our relationship. And I was always so confused of why he didn't heal her. I, I would be begging, I would be pleading, but he would never answer me. Later, I realized that he did answer me. The answer was just no. And it hurt, it hurt so hard. He could have healed her like that. He knew the ramifications it would have in my life, the depression I would have, the anxiety I would have going forward. And he chose to do nothing. Since the day that I found out my mom had cancer and the 12 years that she had it, till now, me and God's relationship has always been confusing. And undeservingly, he has been faithful to me. As much as I have lost and as much pain as I've gone through, God has given me so much more. I now have a beautiful wife and three beautiful kids and a community here at Bethel that has literally that has literally saved my life. And as confusing as our relationship is, God has been faithful and he's given me so much even to the smallest detail. For example, one of the biggest hurts in my life 
was not being able to dance at my wedding with my mom. And when me and Ariel got married and we had our son Oliver, as much as I love Oliver, he was really difficult. So we were only gonna try for one more. And um, <laughs> we had twins, twin girls. God gave me two. So not only do I get one dance, I get the dance that I lost with my mom. I gained that dance back. For the person that's not here yet, I would say, if God can take a chance on me, take a chance on yourself. Get here, see what he can do with you, with your life, with your faith. I know it, it might be complicated at times. I know it might, the, the relationship might be strained. It might be confusing, but I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Get here. It may truly, like mine, save your life.